Today, I want to talk to you about a product that you probably know nothing about from a company that you've probably never heard of. It's a company called LensCapped, and they've got a product that is supposed to be a way of never losing a lens cap ever again. Now, when they got in touch with me and told me about this product, I was quite intrigued because I'm the kind of person that I've never lost a lens cap, but I've wasted a good deal of my life trying to remember where I put them because I'm the kind of person who will have camera in the right hand, take the lens cap off with my left and put it in my left front jeans pocket. Then after I finish shooting, I can take the lens cap back out, pop it back on easy peasy. But for some unknown reason, sometimes my subconscious decides to play tricks on me and occasionally I will put the lens cap in maybe my back pocket or my right pocket or a coat pocket or even sometimes I'll flick it off the lens whilst I'm taking it out of my kit bag so the cap stays in the bag. But I never remember that. So I spend anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes fumbling around all my pockets trying to remember where I put my lens cap. But the prospect of a lens cap that I couldn't lose was quite intriguing. So they sent me a copy out and here it is. So the concept of this cap is it doesn't pinch into the front of your filter thread like a normal lens cap. It actually screws onto the front of your lens. Then essentially it's a little hinged door. Now there is a little spring on the hinge mechanism here. So when you open the cap, it flicks straight open. It's, it's not going to risk getting in the way of your shot while you're trying to take a picture. Now, due to the wonders of magnets, when you close the cap fully shut, it stays shut. So it's a neat little gadget in as much as you never need to take it off your lens and you don't need to faff with you take the cap off and now you've got a cap in your hand you need to get rid of. You just flick and you're good to go. Now, lens cap, when they got in touch with me, did kind of say that they realized it's a bit of a polarizing product. Some people will see it as an absolute lifesaver and other people will see it as a pain in the hole. Now, I'll be honest... I'm not saying I come down in the side of a pain in the hole, but I personally wouldn't buy this product. Not because it's not a good product, but because it doesn't suit what I need it for. Because I have multiple different lenses that I use, so it would mean getting a cap for every single lens, and I just can't be bothered with that. Having this on means you can't use a lens hood, although it does kind of create its own little hood over the lens anyway. But also, more importantly for me, is because it's screwed into the front filter... You can't put filters on top of the cap. So if you wanted to use filters, you'd have to unscrew the cap every single time. So personally, it's just not for me. But I can see this appealing to somebody who maybe has only one lens that they use or one main lens that they use for the majority of the time and maybe don't bother with filters. So I lent this to my mother. Because my mum's a hobbyist photographer, okay? She doesn't do a great deal. She doesn't delve into the whole composition and all that sort of stuff. She just likes taking pictures. And this is her camera right here. It's a, an M5 and predominantly she uses the 18 to 150 mil kit lens. Now, the only thing with this is the kit lens for this is a 55 mil front filter and the cap that lens cap sent me was a 58. So I've had to use a step down ring for this. So I lent it to her for a week. I said, here you go. There's it on your camera. Leave your normal lens cap. Just go and try that out for a week. Tell me what you think of it. And she's absolutely loved the thing, to be honest. Prior to shooting DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, years ago, she used to use bridge cameras. And one thing she always loved was the fact that the lens cap was always on a little piece of string hanging off the camera body itself. So you took the lens cap off, it would just dangle on the piece of string, and then you pop it back when you finish. You never had to worry about where did she put the lens cap. Once you moved over to interchangeable lenses, you lose that functionality because if you have the lens cap dangling on a piece of string off the camera body, none of your lenses would have caps on. All of your caps would be dangling under your camera. It'd be like you're carrying around a set of maracas with you. So it's just not practical. And so she really loved having the ability to not worry about a lens cap, to just know that she could just take this out of the bag, flick it open, take a picture, close it shut again, Bob's your uncle. I then borrowed this the other day because I was going into town to do some photos, but some of the photos I wanted to do were of my camera. So I took the opportunity to take this out and give it a try in an all-in-one camera just to see what I made of it. And I really liked it as well. I like the convenience of not having to worry where the cap's gone. Even if you take a picture at a very extreme angle, the cap doesn't drop in your way at all. So at no point do you have to really worry about this thing. It just takes all the hassle away from that. So overall... It's an impressive product, but it doesn't suit my circumstances. And you might be in the same situation. You know, you might look at this and think, no, it's not for me. Fair enough. But if you are somebody who looks at this and thinks, ah, 
that's what I've been waiting for. Right now, it's in its infancy. So they're trying to work out what size lens caps people want. They can't afford to make all the sizes under the sun, so they need to focus on the ones that people really want. So if you've got a specific lens that you think, I'd love to have this cap for that lens, head on over to the Kickstarter campaign, find their online poll, let them know what sizes you'd be interested in buying. And by the end of the campaign, you guys could be a very influential part of how the finished product of this ends up hitting the market. I think they've got a couple of competitions going. I think they're giving away a couple of samples of these. So that's it for this video, guys. Like I said, impressive product, but not really for my circumstances. But what about you guys? Do you like the look of it? Is it something that you're interested in and are you going to be getting one? Or do you not see the appeal in it whatsoever? Leave your thoughts and comments in the box down below. Thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully I will see you in the next video.